to week two. Oh my gosh, you guys only have two weeks left until it's winter break. I hope you guys have been hanging in there. I hope your classes haven't been too tough, but I know you guys can handle it. You guys are tough and you guys are so smart. You guys blow me away with your knowledge. Okay, so this week we are diving into more winter stuff, okay? We are gonna be making snowflakes. Everybody loves making snowflakes. Man, I wish it would snow. Before we get started, I want you guys to watch this really cute video of this dog that is seeing snowflakes for the first time. I thought that most of us could relate because we're in Texas and in Texas, we don't have a lot of snow. But every time there's snow, I know that I freak out a little bit. So maybe we can enjoy the snow together with this dog. Okay, give it a look. We're gonna lose you and the ball. He's smiling. Is it nice? Did we bury you? What the heck? <laughs> okay, that was too cute. I don't know about you, but I just can't handle that much cuteness. So next, before you watch the next video, which is just showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to cut your paper and how to fold it in order to make beautiful, unique snowflakes, Notice that I use the word unique. When you're making your snowflake, I don't want you to worry about ma making your snowflake look exactly like your neighbor's snowflake or your friend's snowflake or everybody else's snowflake. Even scientifically, almost every snowflake is unique and different. They all look different. And every snowflake is very unique. Check out this video that shows you close up photographs of actual snowflakes. It's, it's kind of crazy. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Dashing through the sea. Over the fields. Okay, so, this is the end of my video. Please do your best work with your snowflakes. Make at least three snowflakes in class today. These snowflakes are gonna go out in the hallway where our trees are. You'll notice in the hallway it snowed over Thanksgiving break. There's a snowman for Harrison Lane and our trees do not have any leaves because all the leaves fell down for winter. Where the trees are, you are gonna put your snowflakes. Third through sixth grade are all gonna put their snowflakes that they cut out and made on our winter trees in the hallway. You're gonna watch the step-by-step -step instructions and then you're gonna get started. I can't wait to see your amazing, unique, individual snowflakes. All right, guys, bye. Miss you. I miss you a lot.